My name's Rob Delaney, and I am playing Peter in Deadpool 2. Are you getting catfished here, or any powers you want to tell us about? Any, uh... No, I, I don't have one. Um, I just saw the ad and thought it looked fun. You're in. Peter is like the, the civilian who's just looking for work in a contracting economy. Peter is just a regular dude who uh, answers an ad that uh, Deadpool, for some reason, puts in the paper, looking to put a gang together. And uh, everybody else who answers is a legitimate superhero with either mutant powers or some other kind of powers. And uh, then me, who has no powers at all. Peter's someone we love because he's an ironic superhero for sure. He doesn't have any powers. He works in payroll. He's got a mustache. He wears dockers like Davis Love III. He realizes he's in over his head, and yet once the mission starts, he starts to get the, the adrenaline rush that any superhero would. He's trying to save someone's life. He's landing you know, correctly in his parachute when others don't. He's, he's actually excited to be something greater than he is and part of something larger than himself. <laughs> we You're did a it. goddamn superhero, you! X-Force! X-Force. His wrinkle-free khakis and his mustache do not make it into the comics, although I feel like there could be a Peter spin-off movie somewhere. It would be great as a standalone film, but to think that I'll get to participate in something that's gonna have a legacy and appear again and again as a character, not to mention the financial component, you know, it'll be great to have sort of an income source that lasts for a long time. We're gonna build them up as like real characters that are gonna be in the movie and then we're gonna just like kill them all in about a minute and a half. I'm just so pumped to be in this. Well, it's good to have you, um, but actually your character dies in like three minutes. The nice to have you, though. Th Thanks for Thanks. showing up. I appreciate it. Thanks for all your reps. What? Let's fuck this. I'm, no, I'm telling you now, I'm going to look amazing in this film. <laughs> you know, if there's an X-Force movie and they want me to bulk up, I'm gonna be like, pay me the money, Fox. Each part of muscle you want me to gain is gonna cost you. I do want to live the dreams, pool boy. Five first, so go to a big and tall shop, because none of the other shops probably go over 40 on the size of pants. The industry discriminates. I will say, uh, kudos to Ryan and Josh. It seems really hard. Have you seen his biceps? I just look like that always. I mean, that's just a natural look. I mean, no, man. I had to hit the gym three hours a day, every day. I just saw Schwarzenegger at the gym the other day, and he, he just turned 70, and I just turned 50. And he said, I said, you know, there's something great about being involved in something like this. At my age, it was like, buy a Ferrari or get involved in the Marvel Universe. And I got involved in the Marvel Universe. There's a lot of uh, prescription anti-inflammatories taken in between <laughs> shooting days, Josh and I. We're both right at that age where like, we can do as many takes as you want. It's just like when we're getting up off the ground though, it just sounds like a whole other car accident happened. There's a whole lot of, oh God, oh my God, oh, I'm gonna die. Josh Bowen, I was so very intimidated to work with him. I almost called him sir a few times because he's just such a man <laughs> and he's been working out a lot for this movie and on a strict diet. I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> and then a few weeks ago, he just sat next to me when we were shooting the end of the movie up on the location and we just started chatting and he was like the nicest guy. And then we started bonding over our love of sugar, which I didn't realize that Josh Brolin loves sugar. And we bonded because I'm a fat kid on the inside. More big guns. Do you have one that's 70 pounds? I kind of was focused on other types of movies. And then this came along and you're like, this is actually, like, what was I doing? I should have been doing this earlier. This was a lot of fun. Welcome to science. My scar is based off the fat deposit on Harry Dean Stanton's forehead that he kept for years. 
and my character is based off of Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes, that is true. true. That is true. Go ahead. What's really going on behind the scenes of Deadpool? A lot of people nowadays, they don't really go for the most appropriate director for the piece. They go really for the looks. And David Leach is a very, very handsome person. Leach has cable hair. So if you think about it, the way my hair looks is just an extreme version of Leach's hair. I think that was a full manipulation on his part. It was a narcissistic move. But that's okay, it's his movie. Also, similar voices. I think he has polyps in his throat, which was the inspiration for Cable talking like he does. Did you get any shots of Dopinder up there? No. <laughs> I think that's important that maybe get on film. Dubstep? I don't even know what dubstep is. What is dubstep? It's a musical style. No, no. <laughs> Just trying to help. <laughs> See, the acting is going so well that he believed me. That's true. Actually, you know what? Let's play some dubstep. <laughs> I played that when my first child was being born. <laughs> Which was awesome. This isn't for the general public, right? <laughs>